Hi, my name is Jennifer and I'm a first generation student. So I've always loved school. As a child, I never missed any days. I got good grades. I just enjoyed the learning aspect, aspect of it. And as I got older, I didn't really have a great background, like nobody supporting me. My parents weren't really that good at school things. They, my mom graduated high school, but my dad only went to eighth grade. His parents forced him to drop out to work. Divorced, had troubles. They didn't really support me as far as school goes or even making good decisions. So I ended up pregnant at a really young age. Had my child when I was 17. Decided I want to be a stay-at-home mom. So I was a stay-at-home mom for, I don't know, I want to say 15 years till I got divorced. And when I got divorced, I realized that out there in the workforce is, it's hard. Minimum wage does not really do anything for a family. You really have to go to school and get a good education to be able to support a family. I decided I was gonna go back to school, but then I got sick. I was sick for 10 years in and out of hospitals, doctors couldn't figure out what was going on. And just, I don't know, I'm gonna say three years now I've been better. It took 10 years of them checking me out to see how, what was going on and now I'm finally feeling better. So when I started feeling better, I decided I'm gonna go back to school. My children are grown now, so I have the free time to work and go to school and not have to look after little ones. So I came back and I'm really enjoying myself. I'm. I love school and I'm going to be a school teacher. I want to teach other people. I want to be in the elementary age children and be around them and help them and maybe show them that going to college is the best. You'll get the best education. You'll be able to support your family. You'll be able to do more things in life and have a lot more knowledge of life. I came back twice, but because the kids were little and I was a single parent and I had to work full time, it was just so hard but this is the third time coming back and I've stuck with it this time. I'm an outgoing person, so I wasn't really shy or, or nervous or even embarrassed. Really, I'm thankful that I have the opportunity. And a lot of the students in my classes were, were glad that I was there, that I had the extra knowledge of having children, going through life, and I had extra things that I could add to the class that the teacher maybe not added to it. Yeah, I had a lot of students asked me a lot of questions, asked for guidance, you know, just different things because I had different knowledge that they didn't have because they were so young. What do you kids think? Oh, they love it. They're, they're very proud of their mother. I have three sons, they all graduated high school. I'm trying to convince the youngest one to go to college because that is the best way to go as far as life goes. You get the best education, you, you make better money, and you get to actually be in the field you enjoy. College is completely different than going to high school or elementary school. It's, you enjoy the things you're doing. And there's way more access to help in college. They have so many things that you can utilize to get help if you're having problems. But I love working with children. I love being in the school system. When my children were little, I was always volunteering. I did the crosswalk for free when people were getting paid to do that. <laughs> I did the PTA. I did everything I could to be involved in the school system with my children. And that's kind of what got me here, I think.